Hi everybody, my name is Rhys Barber, I'm one of the audiologists here at Audiology Associates. Thanks very much for watching that earwax removal compilation video today. Oh, dark wax in this one. Uh, quite a dark ear canal as well. So it's very, very thick. It looks sticky, this wax. Very, very sticky. Always a difficult one to remove this one um, when it's this kind of consistency. Now, you could use a little bit of irrigation on this type of wax and it would work really, really well. Um, you can see this is almost a bit like the nemesis to the suction tube. You can see how I'm drawing this wax along, but the problem you've got is it blocks the suction tube very quickly and you get hardly anything out. So this would actually be a great one to either use some irrigation or maybe a combination of both. I've done that with a couple of patients recently as well uh, because this softer wax tends to respond really, really well to irrigation which I know a couple of you asked in the questions in the comment section. This particular patient had had irrigation before and had quite a bad experience at his GP surgery, so really wasn't keen. So I stuck with uh, the suction and some curatage on this one. So we've got the jobs and all. You can see it's not really budging with the suction tube at the moment. So let's go in with the jobs and horn. Uh, quite good for these kind of soft waxes. It's super duper sticky though. As we get the jobs and horn behind it, it's going to pull through. There you go, a nice chunky piece coming away. But watch how this comes through now. It kind of almost stalls and gets stuck. That's because it's so sticky. It's still attached to the wax beyond it. Uh, so we're just pulling this next chunk through. But a very, very full ear canal on this one, bless him. There we go. You can see that kind of adhesion with that stuck a bit further back. We're going to clean the jobs and horn off. Uh, let's get rid of this as well. You can see I'm fighting with it here. It doesn't want to come out this ear canal. Look, it's resisting. It's resisting coming away all the way along there. Uh, it's all got a little bit of light at the end of the tunnel. We can just start to see the eardrum beyond the wax there. So I'm going to take a little bit more of this out with the Jobson horn. Now this wax is actually leaning. It's actually stuck to the eardrum. Uh, so it means we're not going to be able to get all of this out with Jobson horn. So I've, I've basically uh, swamped this with olive oil, put loads and loads in here, which is great against sticky wax. It stops it from re-sticking. And we're using the um, standard size on tube here just to lift this off the canal, get it out of the ear canal a little bit better. There we go, lifting away. You can see just how tacky that is. As I'm pulling edges of it, it doesn't want to move. So I'm just pulling the other edge here, just trying to lift. Now this is always a little bit um, you've got to be a little bit more cautious here because this wax is super duper sticky in the anterior, well, in one of the recesses. I can't with this anterior, I'll have a little. Uh, you can see a keratin ribbon running all the way through this as well. So it's right down in that recess, which means that we ideally want to take this out as clean as we can. Um, and if you go in here and start yanking bits off the top of it, it's going to leave a lot down in that recess, which is going to be really, really difficult to get out. So. You can see here, I'm kind of just very gentle little movements, trying to lift the wax a little bit, coax it out of that, um, of that recess there. It's coming away nicely though. Out that one comes. So let's get to the next section. Let's get rid of some of this bit. Let's give this a little bit of a lift. You see how it's just taking the top layer off here? I'm trying to get to that a little bit right at the bottom of that valley just there. That's the bit I want to aim for because I think if I can pull on that, I think the whole thing is going to lift out. Now, I could have put a little bit more olive oil in at this point. You can see it's got a little bit drier now. We, we, we haven't got quite as much olive oil. But I'm holding the suction tube here. I'm gathering the wax into that tube so we get a really, really good grip. And look, very, very, just a little shoulder shimmy going, a little very, very um, gentle movements back and forth to draw this wax out of that, out of that uh, recess. There you go. And see how we're using the sticky, tacky nature of the wax against itself. So we're lifting from the one corner. And because it's so sticky, it wants to stay attached. So it pulls it through. It was an anterior recess. So we're just pulling this through. And we're just getting rid of these bits on the edge now. Whew, that was a tough one. Guys, don't forget, if you do enjoy earwax removals, we have a lovely channel. You might as well check out so why not hit the subscribe button while you're there at the same time? <laughs> hit the bell, you get notifications about our videos coming up. But you can always like, sh share, almost like, share, heart, follow, and subscribe for me. That would be absolutely fantastic. And if you have ear problems like this lovely gentleman did, you can always check out our. Um, 
bio and in there will be a link to our website or check out our link tree and that will take you straight through to how you book your appointments. If I remember, I will pop the link tree into the description because I keep forgetting to do that, but I will do that. Uh, so you can see out of one ear canal, we had three and a half centimeters just Boom. I'm going to show just under an inch and a half rather than just over an inch and a quarter. It was closer to the inch and a half bit. Uh, but lots and lots of very thick, dense wax in that one. Patient very relieved to get that out. Uh, ooh, quite a soft wax, this one as well, by the looks of it. Now, this one I can't remember because uh, I probably did this about a week ago. Um, let's have a little look. Is it soft or is it hard with just with a bit of a sheen? Oh, it's hard with a bit of a sheen to it. Okay. Well, this looks like it's coming away well. I don't want to jinx myself, but it looks like it's coming away nicely. Oh, maybe not. Slightly narrower ear canal here. Um, a harder bit of wax. We did get a good grip, but as we started to pull it through, it just sheared off. It looks like the canal just narrows a bit at the entrance here, which means we've got to kind of fight uh, through this. Oof, let's get the Jobson horn in there, see if we can scoop over the top here. Yeah, there's a little gap. We could have used either uh, Jobson horn or St. Bart's hook there, either would have done that job, I think. Oh, rolling nicely though. Is there a little bit of keratin attached to this? Is that what's holding this in? Mm, no, just, just a fair old size plug. So out that comes. Yeah, it's pretty hard. Look, I can't even get the Jobson horn into it. My goodness me, can I lift this? Yeah, there it is. Oh no, it's not. <laughs> there we go, we got it in the end. Uh, yeah, a good size plug, quite dry, lots of little hairs embedded in there as well. Oh, eardrum looks fab. Much, much better on that side. So this is what it looked like beforehand. And this is what it looks like afterwards. Uh, other ear canal now, similar. Little bit of a gap at the top. So these ones where you see this little bit of a gap at the top, usually patient won't be experiencing any hearing issues as such because the sound can get over the gap. Uh, but they will be experiencing a degree of discomfort as well in there. So, or, you know, just a little bit of irritation sometimes. They may find that when they have a bath or a shower, their hearing's blocked up for a couple of hours afterwards. That's just because the water gets into the gap or gets behind the wax and sits there and pulls there for, uh, behind that wax and it causes a few issues. So we're just giving this a same issue we had on the other side, really. It's quite a hard piece, but we've got it to the outer part of the ear canal. Uh, so we are turbo wiggling here, guys, to get this one out. We are wiggling our little socks off, but we've got to go back to the Jobson horn. Let's pull this through. Same on this side, could use St. Bart's hook. Either would have done the job for us here. Uh, da, 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 da. Is it going to come away? Yes, it is. Oh, okay. We went forceps. I did. Yeah. Oh, broke away though. Not quite as hard as it first appeared. There you go. Out that comes. Nice plug that one as well. Little bit of cilia in there. Little bit of dense hair as well. Uh, eardrum looks fab on that side. Before shot. And after shot, looking good. Uh, so, oh, two quite little chunky pieces there. Uh, I'm going to go with seven eighths of an inch and two and a half centimeters. And that wasn't an easy read ruler. Kudos. Thank you so much. Uh, so, you can see, you can tell he's getting close by holidays now, guys, okay, can't you? Um, oh, gosh. Very wet, sticky type wax. Oh, guys, while I'm on subject, don't forget to check out. Um, Friday's video, oh my goodness, that is an immense wax removal, that is a big one. Um, so getting this piece out here, in fairness, I didn't think this was going to come out as easy as that. It looked really, really wet and sticky, a bit like the first patient you saw in this compilation. But actually, that came away really nicely, and it drew the next section down with it, which is always nice to see. Oh, look at that. That is great when it does that. When you get a good grip and the whole thing starts to pull forward, that's what we like. A little bit more in there, though. You can see when you put the suction tube in, that wax almost sort of wrapping around the suction tube. There we go. Out that comes. Don't forget, guys, keep your questions and your comments coming into the comment section. I am on holiday at the moment, but when I get back from my holidays, oh, now that looks like there might be a little bit of middle ear effusion there. That eardrum looks like that sort of yellowish sheen to it. I would have said there's probably a little bit of middle ear effusion there. It does look a little bit on the yellow side. Um, what was I saying before I got uh, distracted, which happens a lot? 
Uh, oh yeah, um, if you've got any comments, questions, drop them in the comment section below. I am away for uh, this week as well, uh, but when I get back, I'll do some more questions. I think I've got enough of your questions to tide us over until I get back, and then once I'm back, then I'll look at your new questions and we'll go through those as well for you. Um, so the second ear canal here, just pulling this out. It's got a little bit stuck. There we go, no, it's on its way now. Quite a soft uh, wax material as well around the outside edge. We've got this hard nugget and then this very, very soft material in there as well. Oh, sorry, lost my mouse. Yeah, um, there we go. You can see the eardrum on that side. It doesn't look quite as yellow, so it's, I would say there's a little bit of mid ear effusion on, on that. Oh, this is reversed on mine, isn't it? So that would have been the right ear on the left-hand side, but not so much on the, no, that's the left. Would have been the, oh gosh. That's the right, left. Sorry, my screen is reversed, so it's really difficult for me to tell. Um, there we are, guys. So all done for today. Thank you so much for watching our video. Uh, and as always, take care of yourselves, take care of your ears, and take care of one another. And I shall see you again on Friday. Bye, everyone.